What's up, divas and divos? So, this wig is going to be a lace front wig from You May Hair. You can check them out on AliExpress. I've done some wig videos for them um, quite a few times in the past. So, as you guys see, I am showing you this Color Easy Box hair dye. And this is actually from the Dollar Tree. You guys know how much I love the Dollar Tree. So, the wig did come 27 color 27 all the way through from the rooter to the tutor meaning from the root to the tip the entire wig was color 27 okay now I love color 27 but I cannot do 27 roots like I need my roots to be dark because it just looks more natural to me especially because I wasn't born that way so I decided to use this medium brown color easy hair dye from the Dollar Tree it only cost me one buck so as you guys see I did change my shirt in the video because the red kind of was giving off blue tones with the black background and I really wish I would not have used the black backdrop but um you know it is what it is for this video so I do apologize but the wig is a 250% density virgin brazilian loose wave lace, lace frontal okay so prior to the video i did tweeze some of the hair um on the hairline because i just wanted to do that i thought it would look a lot better you know customize it to my liking and as you guys seen i did cut the lace off of it so yeah i did use the hair dye i actually really do like it at first i was like i don't know about this but my daughter talked to me like nah that hair dye is really good plus it's thick so it doesn't like bleed all over the place now as you guys see here this is the good part like that is the dollar tree salon selectives non frizz extra firm hold styling mousse like i swear by the styling mousse i love it i've got like eight cans of it in my bathroom you know put them on stash standby yes so i use the mousse to actually lay the hair down and apply the wig i mean you don't have to use mousse you can use whatever you want but for me i'm gonna go ahead and use this mousse because i don't want to keep the wig on for days it's easier to take it off it don't have this messy like residue left on your lace or on your hair um the mousse is so much easier to apply your wig along with some good hairspray which i prefer is um pump it up hairspray and and I use the super hold um, control um, level, I guess. So as you guys know, this is the part where I'm always going to do my baby hairs. I love using a eyebrow trimmer. And now here we go with this mousse. So as you guys see, I'm going to be applying the mousse on the baby hairs. Along with that, I'm going to also be applying it just to the front of the wig. So that way it does kind of like seep into the actual lace. Along with that, it'll also lay the hairs down in my unit. Now I can wear the wig for a week like this with the mousse and the hairspray, but the key to the madness is you need to make sure that you put a scarf on every night and also just put a tiny bit of you know mousse or or hairspray on at night or in the day it doesn't have to be both it could be either or preferably the day um or preferably the night because that way you don't have to take the scarf back off and put it back on so that is my sculpting toothbrush you guys know about this green toothbrush like i absolutely loves it one of my favorites and now this is the pump it up i swear by this spray i've used this for many many years and i stopped using it for a while i went to the aussie instant freeze i'm not really sure if aussie will hold it down like this i don't think it will but pump it up surely will girl your wig will be laid okay like seriously i'll be sleeping in my wigs when they put when i put mousse and hairspray on them like for real no lie i mean i still do like the gel method but why do all of that when i could just do this it's less mess it's not all that nasty gunky thick gel on your wig and it just doesn't get all over the place and plus when you take the wig off with the mousse and hairspray all you gotta do is just take a cloth a dry cloth or a toothbrush and just brush the gel and the mousse off the lace or off the hair either way it's super easy so i'm just going ahead and just sculpting those baby hairs down into place because you know trying to get this wig to look right i will say i do like it with the darker roots it looks a whole lot better i just could not do the blonde roots it just was so unnatural looking and it just was not me but the hair dye is really good i loved it it was more than enough um and for a dollar i'm saying 
for a dollar make me holla like really this is a really good um hair dye um they don't have like a huge array of colors but they have enough so now i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to put on this scarf one of my silk scarves i prefer the silk scarf because it just lays your hair a lot tighter plus it won't snatch out your edges and plus it won't mess up the cotton now normally i will just do this with the barrel curler and that's just to kind of like dry the actual hairspray and the actual mousse you don't don't want to put the barrel directly on it I mean you can if you want to but sometimes you may see a little bit of flakiness because of the hairspray so to avoid all of that I just use the scarf to do that and just be careful because I have it up to 450 degrees and it does get really really hot but trust me the heat works um, and it does actually lay the wig in its place and it makes it stuck or you can use a hot comb like this or you can just take your blow dryer and blow dry it you know what I'm saying you can take your blow dryer and blow dry it in place as well either way whatever one you prefer is just that easy but I love the outcome of it and it stays on like it's 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 gone it's on honey it's this wig is on tight like seriously so as for the hair I do like it the color is really pretty the density is just what I like you guys know I like a nice full wig so I'm gonna take my hot comb not a big fan of this hot comb and I'm just going to kind of like comb through it kind of get the hair to lay a little bit flatter and just untangle it or just tame it down a little bit I did of course wash it because I had to take the dye out but yeah the wig for the most part is very decent um, I think it's just like the average amount of parting because it's a lace front so you're not getting like a whole bunch of extra parting but you're getting some parting as for the knots in the unit as you guys can see right here they look pretty decent okay so this is all scalpage I didn't tweeze it or anything like that where the part is that's just the actual part um, it may be a little bit dense but for me it was okay so now I'm gonna take my Sally Hansen um, camouflage spray and this stuff I've been using for years only because I have um, just spider veins and varicose veins on my legs so I get very insecure so I have been using this stuff for some years now and it does really work for your skin in case you're wondering as far as it working for the wig it does work for that as well um, but I would never spray it on the inside of my wig because it just gets really really messy but as for an alternative of camouflaging like um, concealer then yeah it does work it depends on what color you get um, but it definitely works for your skin if you are you know insecure about any type of varicose veins or marks on your legs or arms then this Sally Hansen leg spray is definitely a must but if you want to try it out for your wigs then by all means go ahead I wouldn't suggest just spraying it directly on like I've seen on videos no hate or shade but I've tried that and trust me right after that I had to go and wash the wig didn't work out for my favor now I'm gonna go ahead and brush the wig and you know what time it is girls it's time to style it so I'm gonna be using my cool away styling lotion I actually do really like this stuff it's good it hydrates the hair it doesn't weigh it down it doesn't leave it all greasy and stuff like that it actually makes it really really nice and soft and lustrous and Good things like that but you may hair does have some really nice hair like I said I've done quite a few videos for them in the past so you definitely have to check their Aliexpress store out they're very very affordable so I'm just gonna do the same like always which is use my irresistible me 8-in-1 curling barrel system you guys know how I feel about this curling wand like it is life Did this hair turn out nice or what? Like I'm saying, stay tuned for the finishing part of the video. Okay guys, so I actually had to re-record the ending of this video for youmayhair.com because I don't remember what happened to it. I don't know if I deleted it by accident because I kind of had two blonde wigs that were very similar 
and same color background same dark roots um as you guys know i did make this root um our darkness root myself because it did come in all color color 27 and i'm not like a huge fan of all blonde roots like i need some of the roots to be dark so that way it looks natural but yes i have worn this wig several times since doing the video um this is actually like probably Prior to that, it's probably like a month later, so I've actually wore the video, the wig actually quite a few times after the video, and I absolutely love it. I love this color hair. This color is my favorite. Plus, I think I like this one a lot because it's the length, and it's also the density, which is, it is 250% density, and it's 22 inches, and of course, it is a blonde, loose wave lace wig, so it is loose, um, but, you know, it didn't really have a lot of loose wave in it, so I decided just to curl it like this because this is how I like my hair but I have done quite a few videos for you may hair um, dot com like a year ago or probably before that and they do have some really nice lace fronts um it may need some tweaking meaning some customizing but you know what I think that's with all of them but they're super affordable so you guys let me know what you think of this one right here I will post all of the information and the links below to this unit I hope you guys enjoyed um and yeah I don't know I like my hair like this sometimes because it gets super hot outside so I just do pin it up but you can definitely just like leave it out like so if you want and just wear it like this which is still super duper cute you know all of the information for you may hair will be posted for you guys down below and on that note stay diva and diva delicious make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs this video up and i will see you guys in a soon to come video if you guys are wondering where did i get my t-shirt from i did get this from a store called um it's a store and a website it's called uniglow which is u-n-i-q-l-o.com um Hopefully I'll remember to post the information below, but yes, this one is good guys. Chucky, hello, um, he'll be your friend till the end. So you guys, I'll see you on a soon to come video. Stay deep and deep delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, and I love you.